In this video, you will see several plays in which players' helmets come off quite easily through play. Under the new rule, each of these players is required to leave the game for the next down. The clock is stopped when the ball becomes dead and will start on the referee's signal unless it was stopped in conjunction with the situation where it would start on the snap. If the clock is stopped with less than one minute in the half and the helmet coming off is the only reason the clock is stopped, the opponent has the option of a 10-second runoff. Notice also in several of these plays how easily the players are able to put their helmets back on, which is a good indicator that the helmets are not fitted properly. Playing without the helmet is a serious safety issue, and the intent of the new rules is to give the players some incentive to wear proper fitting helmets that are also secured with the chin straps. Otherwise, they risk losing playing time. In play number one, notice a couple of things. We allow the quarterback to play with his helmet uh, unsnapped. The chin strap is not, is not secure. We've got to be more diligent about making sure that these chin straps are secure. The next thing to notice is the receiver on the play. Uh, when he catches the ball and lands on the ground, his helmet comes off very easily. Under the new rule, he would need to sit out the next play because the helmet came off not due to a foul by the opponent, but because it came off due to, due to the fact that he did not have it secured tightly enough. Notice how easily he flips his helmet back on after he picks it up. These helmets are just not fitting properly at all. In play number two, you're going to see the helmet come off of two players. The player makes the tackle as well as the ball carrier. In this case, the, uh, both players would need to sit out the next play because their helmets came off not due to a foul by an opponent, but because the helmets were not fitting properly and were not secured properly. So both players under the new rule would have to sit out the next play. In play number three, the ball carrier's helmet it comes off when he is tackled. Notice that the helmet itself is not contacted by the tackler. Now we have a rule already that the ball is dead when the ball carrier's helmet comes off, but the new rule is he would have to leave the game and remain out for one play. So this is a, an example of the new rule that the ball carrier, because he is, his helmet comes off not because of a foul, he would have to sit out the next play. In play number four, we have two players on the defensive team whose helmets come off during this play. The first is in line play. It's arguable that there may have been a foul by the offensive player, but since no flag was thrown, there was no foul on the offense, the helmet comes off through play, this man must sit out the next down. Also, one of the players involved in making the tackle, helmet comes off at the end of the play. So we have two, de two defensive players, both of whom must sit out the next down because of helmets coming off during play. The quarterback in play number five has his helmet come off at the end of the play as he's tackled. There's no foul involved, and so because of that, the quarterback would have to sit out the next down. So his helmet comes off, no foul by the defense. He should have had his helmet more secure. He should have had it fit better. He must come out and stay out the next play. Play number six shows an offensive lineman whose helmet gets comes off during the play as a result of action. No foul by the defensive player, no flag is thrown, but you can see that the offensive player whose helmet came off continues to participate in the play, throws a block later on in the play, and continues the action without his helmet on. Under the new rule, this would be a personal foul on this player for continuing action beyond the immediate action that when his helmet came off. So this would be a personal foul. He is also, by definition, a player who is out of the play. Number seven is another play where the player's helmet comes off and he continues to participate. However, because the participation here is in the immediate action in which he is engaged, we would not call a foul on this play. It is dangerous, and you can see that he could get his head crushed, but we would not call a foul on this play because he is not participating in the play beyond the immediate action. He would have to come out for the next play 
uh, under the new rule, but he would not be charged with a personal vow. Play number eight shows two different plays where players' helmets come off. One is in the first case, a player uh, making the tackle. His helmet comes off. He would have to sit out the next play. The other one is a receiver who, as he is tackled, as he comes to the ground, his helmet comes off. Notice how easily he puts his helmet back on. You can see that in several of these plays. The helmet just flips on very easily, which indicates that it is not tight fitting. It is not properly fitted and it is probably not secure with the chin straps. So in both of these plays, the player would have to sit out the next play. There's no foul involved for continued participation in the plays. Number nine shows two more plays where a player's helmets come off in the process of being blocked by an opponent. No fouls are involved. In the second case, there might have been a foul, but it was not called, so therefore there is no foul. So the players in, in both of these cases would have to sit out for the next down. Play number 10 shows a situation where a player's helmet comes off through play and he continues to, to play to continue to pursue the ball carrier. He gets blocked. There's potential here for very serious injury. So that's why under the new rule, he must simply stop when his helmet comes off and cannot continue to pursue the ball carrier and to continue to play in the manner that he did. If he does, it's a personal foul. In any event, he must leave the game for the next down. This play is another illustration of a player whose helmet comes off as he's making a tackle. There's no apparent contact to his helmet, just the jarring of his body as he's making the tackle causes the helmet to come off. Clearly not very well fitted, perhaps not chin strapped tightly, and this player must sit out the next play. Again, in play number 12, we have an example of a player whose helmet comes off as he's making the tackle. And you can see that the helmet just comes off, just pops off as he is in the action of making the tackle. Notice at the end of the play again how easy it is for him to flip this helmet on. It is clearly not fitting tightly, not well fitted, perhaps not chin strapped tightly. He just as easily flips the helmet on at the end of the play, which clearly shows why it so easily came off. He must sit down the next play. This final play is another example of a player whose helmet comes off as he's making the tackle. Again, notice that it's very easy for it to come off. And again, at the end of this video, notice that it is very simple and very easy for him to flip the helmet onto his head, yet once again indicating that the helmet is not fitted properly. Again, this player must sit out for the next down. 